All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, today is Tuesday, April 24th, 2012. Um, we're going to go over our results from the live trading room this morning. Um, I have a little caveat for you. We ended with plus one tick on the NQ. Um, I was plus one on the YM. I took another trade, and I got four more ticks on it. Um, and on the Russell, I was... I was minus seven on the morning, but I took a couple of trades here during the break, and uh, and I got to plus thirteen. All right, um, the trades that I took were there, available for everyone to see. I just didn't moderate them. Okay, so I will I'll just leave that there. Actually, I'll turn that off and I'll just go through the trades now. Um, let's see. We didn't get anything on the soybeans today. We we did have um we, we did have hang on I have, there we go we did have a couple of setups over there but we didn't take any trades over there all right i'll go through everything here on the russell first all right we took some trades here on the russell this morning um we missed a bunch of them but i'll point them all out all right here are the divergences right here uh this was right at the open we had some bullish divergence right here. That arrow is going the wrong way. Um, this arrow right here is going the right way. We had bullish divergence right here. All right, with the pullback here, it pulled back, tested the BBC and closed up. We did get into that trade. We went long on that trade. It went about seven ticks in our favor. Um, I moved my stop up to break even. It came back and stopped me out at minus a tick. Okay, it slipped me one tick when my stop was at break even. We had bearish divergence over here. Yeah, I'm going to move these arrows. Somehow they got switched around. We had bearish divergence over here. I missed this trade. It pulled back up to the BBC, and it closed down. Um, I figured it was going to go into the weekly trading zone from there, and it did, but I missed that trade. All right, so we missed that. We had bullish divergence here. We had an up close and a move up into the resistance level there. It got held back by that. Again, we missed that trade. This one here, again, bullish divergence. Uh, right there was the bullish divergence. All right, we had bearish divergence over here with the MA1 down below the BBC. Um, right here was the bearish divergence. All right, there was the down close. That one didn't go anywhere. We didn't take any of those trades in there, guys. Right in here, again, we had bullish divergence right there. All right, we had the up close after the test of the BBC, and that moved up nicely. Again, same thing right here, bullish divergence, test of the BBC, up close, and it went way up. All right, now this was right after the news event right here. Okay, after that happened, I went long right here. I didn't realize I was going long into a weekly trading zone, so I got out of the trade. Um, we did have some bullish divergence again. I got out of the trade at break even. Price then turned around with some bearish divergence right here. We had the bearish divergence, um, and we had a down close. Price moved down again. A test of the BBC up here. The BBC is the green line, by the way, right here that you see. All right. Uh, price pulled up to it, tested it, closed down in our direction, or in the direction of the cycle, which is the red and blue line down here. Um, so we had bearish divergence. That was an opportunity to enter short again. Over here, everything flipped around. It went long. Again, I got long here, but I didn't realize the zone was there. I didn't put the zone on until, until over here. Right here, I think, is when I actually put the zone on. Um, I got long there, and I got out at break-even again, okay, because the zone was there. Um, but we did have the bullish divergence right there. All right. We had more bullish divergence here, but we were right inside the weekly trading zone, so I didn't do anything. It flipped around and gave us bearish divergence with a down close right here. Okay. Again, going into the zone, we didn't do anything. Um, over here, we took a long trade right in here. Um, we had bullish divergence and we took a long trade right in there. We stopped out on that trade, minus I don't know, six ticks, I think, something like that. Um, then the break came. Okay, In the break, we had um, we had a short trade right in here. I think that's actually the one that I entered on. I don't think I entered over here. Um, I took that one, and I made some profit on that. And then I took another one just a few minutes ago right here, and I made some profit on that. And that's what put us at plus 13 for the whole morning. You know, the morning session itself, I was down seven ticks. 
for the whole morning up until now, we we're plus 13 ticks on the Russell. Um, the YM, let me show you that. Okay, we only had a couple of trades on the YM. All right, we we definitely had some divergences. You can see we're doing the same exact thing across all the markets right here. All right, we're using the same setup on all the markets. Okay, right here we had uh, bullish divergence, a pullback and test of the BBC with an up close. Now, in this particular case, I had moved my stop up pretty quick. I moved my stop. I only risked four ticks on this, and it stopped me out at minus four ticks. And uh, you know, it stopped me out just about to the tick at the minus four ticks, and then it moved up to the profit target. Uh, there was more divergence over here, bullish divergence, but we never tested the BBC. Um, in here, we had bearish divergence, but the cycle and the um, the cycle, the MA1 and the BBC were in the wrong spots. All right. Right here, we had nice bearish divergence, but it's going down into the weekly trading zone, so we didn't look to do anything there. Here. We had bullish divergence right here. Now, when I say divergence, what I mean is the cycle, this thick blue and red line down here, is at one side, and these lines, these other lines, are moving away from it. All right, They're diverging from the direction of that line. When that happens, you look for price to pull back down to the BBC, which is the green line, and test it and then close back in the direction of the cycle. If the cycle's overbought, you want an up close. If it's oversold, you want a down close. All right, it's as simple as that. And it happens again and again and again all day long. You can see it happened right here. Um, on the YM anyway, right here we were down four ticks. Uh, there was some divergences in here. You see I've already got them marked in there. Um, we didn't take any of these trades. Uh, we took a trade over here that put us down, I think we are down about 8 ticks or 9 ticks, something like that. Then we took a long trade in here, right here, that uh, put us up. Um, at that point, it had put us up 1 tick, I think. We are up 1 tick. And then I took another trade in here, uh, in here in the bearish divergence. I took a short trade for a few more ticks. Okay, And that, and that was the whole morning on the YM. Um, right here you can see we had the bearish divergence right there and the down close right here. Okay, right there. All right, and that was the morning on the YM, plus five points there. Um, over here, uh, the Russell, we went over the Russell, right? Yeah, we went over the Russell, we went over the YM. The NQ was the other one that I actually took trades on. Let me show you the NQ. Hold on. NQ. Give me just a second here. There we go. Here's the NQ. The NQ had some great trades this morning. Um, I only took a couple. Okay, I took... Right in here, I took a losing trade. All right. Um, I went short right here. Let me show you... Let me just blow this up so you can see some of these these great trades that that happened on the NQ this morning. Um, this one right over here was pre-market, but look at that move down. You had the bearish divergence right here and right here. Test of the BBC with the down close, you could have entered there or right here. But look at that move down. All these divergences along the way, it was all good stuff. Um, in here, once the market opened up, let's go to where the market opened up, over here. Once the market opened up, we had bearish divergence, the test of the BBC with the down close right there. Okay. Again, we had bearish divergence right here, but the cycle was moving up and the MA1 was moving up, so we didn't look to do anything with that. Um, over here, we had some bullish divergence. It tested the BBC with an up close, and it moved up. Again, the same thing right here, but the cycle and the MA1 were moving against it, so we didn't do anything with that. Um, over here, we had bullish divergence, meaning the green line is pulled away from the cycle. Everything is moving up. We tested the BBC, had an up close, nice move up there, again, right there, a short move right there, and another one right here. All right, um, we took a trade over here, we got short, we missed all these really nice trades, and then we finally took a trade over here and we got short, and we stopped out for a few ticks right here. Okay, um, we took another trade over here. And we got back to break even on that. We didn't take a trade in here because everything was moving up against us. I considered it, but I didn't do it. Um, 
right here when price pulled back up to the BBC and gave us a down close, I took a short trade right in there. And that got us back to plus one on the NQ. All right. Um, you can see there were more opportunities in here, very nice opportunities in here as it went along. Um, now, right here, you might say, well, why didn't you take this one? The cycle's moving down against, and the MA1's moving down against. So that, that usually suggests that the MA1 is going to hold, and the price is going to follow the MA1 down, which is what happened. All right. Once it did start to do that, and we got a bearish cross, we had some bearish divergence to go with the bearish cross. So there was an opportunity in there to get short some more. Okay. Um, there, and there and it tried to move up over here and it just got really whippy right now it's got nothing well it had a little bearish divergence right here but you see the MA1's moving up and the cycle's moving up that suggests that the MA1 is going to hold and it did All right, um, that was the NQ and that was pretty much our whole morning so I know Mike, uh, Mike Reed has limited time so I'm going to stop the recording here if anybody has any questions, you can email support at cfrn.net. If you haven't taken the free trial, you can uh, sign up at www.cfrn.net forward slash apply. That's A-P-P-L-Y. Um, if you're a partner, we have a partners meeting Thursday night, you know, the night after tomorrow. If you're in the free trial, um, we highly recommend becoming a partner before the partners meeting Thursday night so you can get in on everything we're going to discuss in that meeting. All right. Um, that's it. I'm going to stop the recording here.